In this video, we'll introduce the Grade Center. To access the Grade Center, go to the Control Panel. If it's not drop down, drop down so that you can see the Grade Center. And clicking on the Grade Center, or on the drop down here, will show you the different options that are here. We'll go to the Full Grade Center, which will show us all students who are visible. In this case, we have two students, plus various columns of information regarding them. At the moment, we can see their student ID, the date of last access, the availability, and some columns at a weighted total, a total column, and an essay, and a revision essay, which we can see up above is the turn it in assignment. And finally, there's also an assignment. So this course already has three turn it in assignments, as well as a weighted total and a total column. Now, if you can maximize your screen so you can see more information, that's great. If you can't, it's a good idea maybe to hide some of this information. So we can drop down here and hide the column. We can also hide the student ID, hide the availability, and this just makes it easier to work with this column. Here, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to hide the date of last access. Now, if we've hidden something that we then want back, we can go to Manage, Column Organization, and this will allow us to view the columns, and we can see the columns that we've just hidden. So if we want last access to be visible, we can click on this here and drop down and show selected columns. Now, this is back to visible, and we can move these around. So again, we can organize which things are shown first. So for example, I can move the weighted total to the end and the total at the very end. And now if I hit submit, you can see the date of last access is back and weighted total and total are here at the end. In the next video, we'll see how to add some columns in order to enter marks and also a calculated column, which will work out an average for us.